Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished His Majesty King Abdullah abundant health and happiness and the Jordanian people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King praised the deep relations between the two countries and people and their steady progress and affirmed the kingdom's keenness to develop and consolidate relations between the two countries and people and advance them in light of the strategic partnership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness wished the Jordanian monarch lasting good health and happiness and the people of Jordan for their development and progress under the wise leadership of His Majesty. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahrain-Jordan relations and noted Bahrain's commitment to furthering the strategic partnership between the two kingdoms. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Hussein bin Abdullah the second. Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, is Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The fifth edition of the Youth Entrepreneurship Forum Micro Shabab concluded. The forum was organized by the Future Society for Youth and hosted by the University of Bahrain. On uh, this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed Bahrain's pride in his youth and the great energies they possess that enable the kingdom to achieve success and excellence in various fields. His Highness added that Bahrain under the directors of His Majesty the King has been keen on supporting efforts to economically empower youth and to contribute in building and developing the society. His Highness also said that the keenness of Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to provide support for youth and invest in them is one of the most important strategies adopted by His Royal Highness and implemented by the government through programs and projects that give young people the opportunity to entrepreneurship. His Highness expressed appreciation to the outstanding efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to enable youth to participate in the economic economic field through the plans and programs launched by His Highness, which contributed to supporting the presence of youth in the development of the entrepreneurship sector in Bahrain. His Highness lauded the efforts of the Future Society for Youth in organizing the forum and the University of Bahrain for hosting this forum, which reflects the university's keenness to embrace a youth activities which promote creativity, innovation and culture among university students. He praised the wide participation of specialist academics and researchers in various fields of entrepreneurship. UOB President Dr. Fouad Lansari addressed the event, praising His Highness Sheikh Khalid's patronage of the forum. For his part, Future Society for Youth Chairman Sabah Zayani noted that the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid contributed to the success of the forum and the accomplishment of its goals. His Highness Sheikh Khalid then honored the sponsors of the forum.
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Jumha, on the occasion of the issuance of the royal decree appointing him to the GSA Board of Directors. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated Dr. Jumha on the Royal Trust, expressing appreciation for his continuous efforts to develop the educational sector in Bahrain and sports in the educational system. He expressed or he stressed that the presence of the Minister of Education, the GSA, a board of directors will bolster cooperation between the two sides during the meeting. They reviewed the most important topics related to the development of school uh, sports and the sports schools projects in addition to many issues of common interest. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser Ahmedan, conducted an inspection visit uh, to Tabarid Company to learn about its work in providing cooling services for areas with the most prominent projects in Bahrain. Through operating a plant using seawater to produce around 23,000 refrigeration tons, which reflects keenness on increasing sustainable development and reducing pollution, especially during summer, to achieve the goal of consuming 50% of energy in comparison with the energy used in traditional cooling systems. During the meeting, the Minister met officials at the company and listened to a briefing on the company's services, affirming that the private sector is a partner that supports the comprehensive development process and infrastructure development projects. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalil Hassan, met with her Syrian counterpart, Dr. Hassan al ghubash on the sidelines of her participation in the 76th World Health Assembly, which is being held in Geneva. During the meeting, the Minister of Health stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation in various fields, particularly in the health field. The two sides discussed issues of common interest, which included areas of cooperation and exchange of expertise and experiences in the health field, in addition to reviewing issues related to health developments at the regional and global levels. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Muhammad al Maouda, met members of the Standing Committee for Islamic Christian Dialogue between the Council of Muslim Elders and the Vatican. On the sidelines of the first meeting, which was held by the Standing Committee in Bahrain, the Minister conveyed greetings from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the efforts made by the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Muhammad al Khalifa, to promote interfaith dialogue. He stressed Bahrain's commitment to support efforts and initiatives aimed promoting interfaith dialogue and building bridges of communication between people and cultures, thus contributing to the consolidation of the principles and values of human coexistence, upholding the spirit of tolerance and spreading peace. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, a plane carrying urgent medical and health aid took off from Bahrain International Airport this morning to Sudan. The aid plane comes within the framework of the Kingdom's support to the Sudanese people in light of the challenges posed by the conflict in the country. Bahrain Airport Company participated in the 18th conference and exhibition of the Airport Council International Asia Pacific Regional Assembly, which was held in Japan. Bahrain International Airport won two international awards in environmental sustainability in recognition of its efforts in devoting sound environmental practices and green transformation to contribute to achieving zero carbon neutrality goals. The airport won the Green uh, Airports Award in the silver category for airports that serve from 5 to 8 million passengers annually and the certificate of moving to the fourth level transformation according to the carbon emission reduction accreditation program of the airports council international this pioneering international achievement affirms the success of the Bahrain airport company's project on plastic waste management which was launched in 2020 in reducing and reducing plastic waste rates Aluminum Bahrain Alba received the present award from the UK-based Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents. This achievement coincides with Alba winning the Gold Medal Award for the 10th consecutive year thanks to its outstanding performance in safety and health during the year 2022. The awards of the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents has proven its leadership role in health and safety practices worldwide. It is one of the most prestigious awards in the field of safety and health in the UK. Alba always strives to exert its utmost efforts according to the slogan, Safety First, Safety Safety always, safety at all times, which enables it to win many international awards and increase achievements at all levels. 
Bobco's production of refined oil increases to 94.4 million barrels in 2022 compared to 86.1 million barrels in 2021. Bahrain is seeking to expand its projects to increase its production of expensive derivatives to achieve high profit margins and help the kingdom face the increasing challenges in the global markets. Bobco is moving forward towards further institutional and operational excellence with national caterers that constitute one of the main pillars for the continuation of economic progress in Bahrain, which puts Bobco at the forefront of companies in the region in this field.